And so the wolf's portrait is finally up. But who will be getting theirs made come the end of this tournament? I wasn't planning on going to the Kokugikan today, but Kazuki Ura, the bravest athlete I know, practically sells tickets by himself. I had to see how his third match turned out. Takakento receiving. I'm glad that went well, panted Uda afterwards. No strategy, I just seized onto him really well in the moment. Three straight wins at this level is a miracle for me, but having come this far, I really want that crucial fourth. He's still refusing to discuss promotion to Division 2 though, and is wary of getting stuck in the upper reaches of this very difficult division. If you compare yourself to others, you'll only end up unhappy. That was Uda's measured response to a journalist's crass remark that his university sumo foe Hokuto Fuji and fellow 2015 debutant Mitake Umi are now much higher ranked than he. The opening sequence showed how Hokuto Fuji polished off Takano Sho this afternoon, so let's now see how Mitake Umi fared against Endo. I will get his score right today, 4 and 2. Also keen for a fourth win was comeback king Teru no Fuji, paired with veteran Okinomi. I don't think much has changed since losing the opening two bouts, the Mongolian said, but I am constantly telling myself to encroach well and take the outside grip. He won't be drawn on back-to-back -back titles, insisting his first goal is to make it through to the end. But, cryptically added, anything can happen. That was Terunofuji's fourth win in a row. Both Ozeki then made it three straight, first Asanoyama putting Miyogiryu to the sword, then Taka Keisho nailing Terutsuyoshi for win number 5. Neither Ozeki was in a talkative mood though. The leader going into today, as the rapid fire photography reminded us, was Taka Keisho's junior sumo nemesis Onosho, anxious to see if his new diagonal Tachi Ai could turn Chiyo Taidu's renowned charging momentum against him. Three times in fact. Even had I lost today, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, was how Chiyotaidu explained his relaxed approach. He's lost nearly 30 kilos this year, and feels the health benefits outside the ring, as well as improved movement within it. He now ties level with Onosho and Takakesho for the lead. There were three other men who finished the day on five wins. Here is how each of them managed to do it. First, the man with this floor cushion. I didn't want Ho Shoryu grabbing my belt, and it was great I could get forward, Tobizado said post-match. I'll keep on challenging. Second, this man, who famously deprived today's opponent of the May 2018 title. <laughs> 
Journalists note how Shodai's famously negative language has seemingly disappeared. He now rates his strength and movement in interviews and talks of actually wanting to go for the title. And also on five wins, the wonder kid himself, Koto Shoho. What elite universities have doubtless missed out on, Sumo has thankfully gained. You can see it in his eyes. That fine brain of his just never stops analyzing. Finally, today also saw the fifth meeting between the two junior high school mates from Kanazawa, Inho and Kagayaki. Here's what happened. You just never know what Enho is going to do, was how Kagayaki described the challenge of facing him. Strong commitment to his fighting shape delivered Kagayaki his fourth win in their professional rivalry thus far. Well, day six sees six men lead, and already we're into the middle weekend. As promised, injured Kotoshogiku will be back in a desperate bid to preserve his top division status, his first task will be to keep up with fleet-footed Enho. That should be fun. I won't be there, but I will be posting here. See you tomorrow.